Scott Jurek is one of the world's most accomplished ultra marathoners. He's won many of the sport's most demanding races, including the Western States 100, seven straight times. His latest quest was the Appalachian Trail, more than 2,000 miles through 14 states from Georgia to Maine. It takes most hikers who manage to complete the trek five to seven months. Jurek did it in 46 days eight hours and seven minutes, three hours faster than the previous record. Scott Jurek, good morning. First, congratulations. Good morning, thank you. You, with all that you've accomplished, what made you wanna do this? I think, you know, the Appalachian Trail really is America's trail. It's one of the most rugged and toughest uh, trails out there. And uh, it, it's such a part of the trail culture. It was our first National Scenic Trail, and for me, it seemed like the perfect arena to test all of my abilities and all the things that I've been working on for 21 years. How hard was it? It was extremely hard. I mean, I knew it was gonna be hard. I had studied, I had talked to people, but um, in the end, until you're right in the moment of like going over those rocks and roots and clamoring over. Well, did um, you also have any mountains. vertigo? Cause some of that terrain is really like, it's like straight up hill. It's yeah, it's straight up. And you know, a lot of times you're dealing with the weather. Um, it can be wet. So the rocks are slippery and you know, you just, you never know the heat, uh, the cold. Um, you know, I had 50 mile an hour winds on the top of Mount Greylock. <laughs> in Massachusetts and so you go through all these different environments starting in the south in Georgia going all the way to Maine and it's just mind-boggling what the trail can throw at you. Never mind the physical challenge of this yeah. which is hard enough but talk to me about the mental challenge because from what I've read you even said with all your experience even you in the middle of this get exhausted and want to give up. Definitely. I think people assume, oh, well, you know, Scott, he's just this super athlete. You know, he never feels like I do. I feel like everybody else who like, doesn't want to get out of bed in the morning mm -hmm. or, you know, doesn't want to get off the couch or might be in the middle of your run or your workout and think, I just can't do this. And I feel that all the time. There isn't a day when I went through this 46 days of feeling like, you know, I can't do this. And that's normal. Um, but how you deal with that adversity as well as those emotional responses is really what makes the difference. You know, you have to put a positive spin on things. You have to think about small goals and you have to think about, okay, how can I get down the trail? How can I put one foot in front of the other? I saw that you said the most memorable moment for you wasn't reaching the top of that final hill. It was those dark periods, the darkest moments. So what was the hardest moment in all this? Because you lost 20 pounds, you were sleeping one hour a night. I mean, this was some unbelievable situations you were in. Yeah, I was forced to dig deeper than I've ever dug before. And I think the toughest moment for me and the most memorable was when I was down in Tennessee in North Carolina, following the border along the mountains, you know, 5,000 foot mountains. And coming down one of the mountains, I had severely torn my quad. I had a knee injury Ooh. already in my right side and then my left. So I basically have two legs. I'm trying to get down these hills and you can't limp when you have two bad legs. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, there's just no way. And I've dealt with injuries before but the pain was so severe, I thought, I'm gonna have to end my you know, trip, there's no way. And then the next two days, I just decided, okay, I'm gonna walk and just power hike and see if I can get through it. So I did 37 miles one day, 39 wow. miles the next day, and then finally, you know, back to 50 miles a day. And um, it just, it'll be something I always remember. And that's you, why I think. You dedicated this to your wife and to your mom, why? Well. My wife has, uh, we've been dealing with uh, some issues uh, having children and she went through a very tough miscarriage um, and emergency situation and our, um, in just seeing her go through those challenges uh, really forced me to think about, you know, how strong I am. And you right. know, if she can get through that, so can I. And I lost my mother to multiple sclerosis a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And seeing her battle that disease and losing all of her physical abilities over the course of, you know, 30 years was something that every time I felt like I couldn't go on, every time I felt like there, there was no um, forward movement, I thought about your both mom. of those, my, my mom and my wife, and just how I can get through this, much like they got through things. It's a really inspirational story. Scott, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.